sin separates us from God. In Hebrews 12, verse 29, the Bible says, Our God is a consuming fire. Sin cannot survive in God's presence. God hates sin because it hurts us and it separates us from Him and God loves us. The problem that God has is this, that which He hates most, that is sin, is inside that which He loves most and that is us. When Jesus stands as high priest in heaven, applying the merits of His blood shed on Calvary, He's doing this because He wants to do away with the separation that sin has caused. His high priestly ministry in the sanctuary in heaven above is designed to reconcile us to God so that one day soon, all the separation from God that sin has created will be gone. When Jesus stands as high priest in heaven, applying the merits of his blood shed on Calvary, he is doing this because he wants to do away with the separation from him that sin causes. The high priestly ministry of Jesus in heaven above is designed to reconcile us to God so that one day soon, all the separation from God that sin has created will be gone. And when Jesus comes, we'll go home with him and be able to walk into heaven itself. How amazing is that? Paul understood well how the sanctuary services were conducted as well as their meaning. He and his Hebrew friends were the descendants of maybe 50 generations of Jews that aligned their lives to a calendar of celebration and sacrifice, ranging from the Feast of Weeks all the way to the Day of Atonement. They all had spent time in Jerusalem where they felt personal relief because of that sacrifice brought for their sins. And they experienced the restoration that comes from an offering made for forgiveness. Paul knew that his readers would have understood how the temple services change how you think about another person and about the cost of sin even. But some had started to believe that animal sacrifices could actually offer salvation. Basically, there were priests in Jerusalem who had virtually come to value their earthly positions so much that they actually started to imagine that they had power in and of themselves to reunite heaven with earth. Paul explains in his letter to the Hebrews that Jesus considered that the horrors of his sacrifice were nothing compared to the gift of eternal life that he offers to the world. None of the rituals and ceremonies that the earthly sanctuary service ever conducted could do anything to bring one person a single step closer to reconciliation with heaven in and of themselves. The separation between earth and heaven could only be bridged by Jesus himself, Christ and Christ alone. I suppose that's why when Jesus died, the veil in the temple was torn from the top to the bottom.